Hey Scorpio, this is Mystic Virgo, 4444. I met you to, uh, again this week with another timeless weekly reading. I hope it resonates. Take what you need, you all, and leave the rest. Give me a clear and concise message for the Scorpio. What message do you have for me to deliver to the Scorpio? Okay. I have temperance. And uh, indecisive about something with your feelings. Um, not wanting to know if you really want to do something or not. It's both of okay. I have three of pentacles. A job situation. Maybe you're not sure if you want to leave a job, find a new job, or transfer departments. Here, what's going on? The world card and the chariot. So whatever decision you decide to make about this job situation is going to change your life. Okay, it's positive movement forward. Whatever choice you decide to make is going to be the best choice for you. Okay. What more going on for uh, Scorpio here? Seven of Wands. You still got to come out of your feelings with it. Make a decision. And I think you will. Um, what else for the Scorpio here? Two of Wands. It's going to change you. It's going to change for you. Uh, you may even relocate to a different city, too, with this. Overall energy for the Scorpio. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Okay. Um, you're in a situation or, or a job where people are really, really uh, deceitful. Um, talk about you behind your back. Throw the, the brick and hide their hand kind of thing. Okay. And you've been up in your head for the longest about whether or not you should leave this situation. The situation that you're in at work, it's time for you to walk away. It's time for you to find something better. Okay. Scorpio work situation. What's going on with Scorpio's work situation here? A male and a female is probably getting on your last nerve at work. I have sign card. It's best for you to leave this situation and, and take your, your talents elsewhere. Um, yeah, you're cutting out this job and, and you're going to look back on this in a few months and say, man, I'm glad I'm over with. I'm glad that ship has sailed. Because you are working around some people right now, Scorpio, who mean you no good. Okay? Clarify the Seven of Swords for the Scorpio, the, the Queen of Pentacles. Probably, hold on. The Lover's Card and the Eight of Swords. It looks like you may be an issue too with this job. Um, causing some of the ruckus too, maybe because you're not getting along with other people. I'm sorry, Scorpio, may be wrong, but maybe you are a part of this problem too. Um, a part of the negativity. Let it go if it is. Um, there's also something going on between you and a lover. Hold on. What else is going on with this issue here? You think your lover is cheating, so you want to leave the situation here? Give me some more messages for the Scorpio. This is probably why. Okay, I have, I have hermit mode here for you. You're in hermit mode, too. You left a, a lover because you thought that they were cheating. They were being sneaky, so you got out of the relationship. And you moved on with your life to other things. You left a lover. Changed your world. You cut somebody out of your life because you found out that they were probably dipping and dabbing with somebody else. Or are dipping and dabbing with somebody they work with. Okay? And in order for you to move on with your life, you have to move away from this person. Find you another uh, find you another life. Uh, find you another job situation, yes. But also uh, break up with somebody and probably move to a different state, a different locality. You cut somebody out. You cut work out, you cut relationships out, and the ships have sailed, and that's, that could be the best thing for you because I found happiness. You found happiness after you left the situation, the toxic work environment, the toxic people you, you were working with, and it made you feel a whole lot lighter. Not having to worry about different things, uh, working with people who meant you no good, working with toxic shock, toxic shock, may have toxic toxic. Toxic shock syndrome. But anyway, I know somebody who has it. But 
you've been able to to balance this uh, negativity in your life and get these people out even though it still bogged bog you down for a minute you weren't sure if you were making the right decision but you did you made the best decision for you more messages oh wrong cards i don't want to use those <laughs> More messages for Scorpio about work and relationship. Okay, give me one card for a relationship for Scorpio. Playfulness. This person played too much and you're done. Um, true love is coming though for you. And you have a romance of a lifetime that's coming for you. Express your love. Okay. Go out and still have fun in your new life and in your new environment. And enjoy yourself. Be prepared to get a, to have a to start a new life, a new relationship with somebody here. Our bodies of water. Spend time near water, such as a lake, river, or ocean, to recharge your batteries. Uh, maybe you're planning on going for a cruise sometime soon. That's good. That's going to help you. You may find find your true love on a boat. Okay. Messages for Scorpio. A firm, a focused foundation. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark. You're starting over again with a new job, possibly a new relationship that's coming your way. Keep yet that um, your attention focused on where you need to go and not the past. Let the past go. Let the past negative energy go because you're doing great. Okay. Undying love. The love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. You have a past life love that's going to come back into your life. Somebody who you knew from way back when or somebody brand new, you're going to feel like you've known this person forever. Okay. Scorpio, I have here. Easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Things are happening in the divine timing for Scorpio. Okay. I have here divine passion. We are. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? What is it in your heart that you want, need, and desire? A beautiful relationship with somebody you can trust. Is somebody who's going to be very, very fulfilling in the bedroom and other places and a nice job. And I have compassion. Be compassionate for yourself, though. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on love and light that's, it, that's within everyone. No matter how people treat you, remember to treat them the way they're supposed to be treated remember the golden rule no matter what they do or what they say and that will benefit you in the end and i have sensitivity okay you are becoming increasingly sensitive avoid harsh relationships environments situations and chemicals like i said you're starting off this this reading with having to, to look for a new job or wanting the desire to look for a new job and ending one relationship because this person cheated on you or treated you bad you're letting all of that stuff go and also something about uh, chemicals, different things that's not that's not serving you, that's making you sick. Something maybe about milk. Uh, maybe you're lactose intolerant and you know it, but you keep eating, eating ice cream or something like that. Whatever no longer serves you, find a way. <coughs> Excuse me, find a way to get it out of your system. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, give me one more card. I'm gonna close you all out for the week. One more message for the Scorpio here. Go outside. You have been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. Go outside and get some fresh air. Okay, Scorpio, I hope this makes sense to you. I'll talk to you again soon.